So, boys, I stay tuned. There's a Gavaldiga podcast, Rabbi Steve Geller. Does a Gavaldiga Zach, and that'll be coming out this week. Torah Giants on Chumash. Shalom Ovrach, and welcome to the weekly piece on the Parsha from Torah Giants on Chumash, written by Rabbi Yitzchak Mayor Gunman, the Rabbi Meredith of Yenisov Rockway. Sit back and enjoy. Welcome to Torah Giants on Chumash. I'm Steve Geller. As he so often does, Rabbi Goodman, with a smile, reminds us that when we think we know what's happening in the Parsha, there's actually treasure buried beneath. This is what you'll find each week, and this piece is another magical example. And just when we're basking in the riches of the Torah treasures from Rabbi Goodman, along comes our precious Rav Eitan Feiner Shlita to hand us another embarrassment of his Torah wealth. This week in our Parsha, we'll look at a well-known Pasuk. Yaakov awoke from his sleep and said, Achain, surely yesh Hashem b'makam hazeh. Hashem is present in this place. Va'anochi and I, lo yodati, did not know it. Notice the Hebrew word for surely, achain contains the same letters as the word meaning I, Anochi, Aleph, Chaf, and Nun. According to Rav Shimshon Ashtrapali in his Kabbalistic work, Nitzotze Shimshon, both terms are acrostics alluding to the four images engraved on Hashem's Kisei HaKavod, his throne of glory. The Medrash tells us that there were four images on the Kisei HaKavod, a lion, an eagle, a karov, an angel, and Yaakov. Let's take a look at the Gemara and Chulin. It was taught that the angels were ascending the ladder and gazing at the image of Yaakov above, engraved on the throne of glory, and descending and gazing at his image below, on Yaakov's face here on earth. Let's see what Rav Shemshan Ashtrapali says these four images show up in our Pasuk. This is so beautiful. Achain yesh Hashem b'makam hazeh. Look at the word achain. Aleph, chaf, nun. Stands for Ari, the lion, Karov, the angel, and Nesher, the eagle. But later in the Pasuk, Yaakov says, Va'anochi lo yodati, and I did not know. Look at Anochi. Aleph, nun, chaf, and yud. The Aleph is Ari, the lion. The nun is the Nesher. The chaf is the Karov, the angel. And the yud is Yaakov. The four images on Hashem's Kisei HaKavod. Not Ochein, but Anochi, Va'anochi Lo Yodati, because I did not know that my face was on the Kisei HaKavod. This magnificent Rav Shimshon was easily worth the price of admission, but this shot was so beautiful, I had to ask my Rav, the holy Rav Eitan Feiner, for the additional treasures I knew he would share. Shalom Rochi, good morning to this unbelievable Olam listening to the fantastic, fantastic podcast of Rav Steve Geller. What happens, Yaakov, at the outset of the the Parsha's opening narrative, he goes to sleep, he lies down, he has a dream and he has a vision, so he wakes up, new insights, a whole new madriga, a whole new lofty spiritual attainment, and what are the first words out of this precious sacred mouth? Surely, I see that Hashem is in this place, and I didn't know, how could I not know that Hashem is in this place? There's got to be a lot going on behind the scenes. So let's turn to a safer called Chaim Shotorah by Yeshulam Levenstein. He doesn't cite of Shushnash Tapoya. He cites this as me, Pia Shmua. This is something that he heard. But Rabbi Gurman, of course, we're going to fill in the blanks. We know it's one of our favorite Mikobolim, the Halig, the Holy of Shushnash Tapoya. So we know that Yaakovina was the Sod of the Merkava. We have at the outset of the Novi Yechesko, beginning of Parak Aleph, he describes his glorious vision of the Maisa Merkava and the workings of Hashem's glorious chariot, the Kisei And then we... Describe it later as well in Yechesko Per Gir Posig Adalid. Let's just turn it on the Posig Arbo Ponim Liechot. So he had four faces of this Merkava by the Kisei Kavid. Pnei Echad or Pnei Akruv, Pnei Sheni, Pnei Adam, Shlishi, Pnei Arye, Revi, Pnei Nasher. So we have the Adam, we have the Kruv. We have the Aryeh and we have the Nesher. And now remember, Yaakovinu did not know at this point in time that the Musti Yukono, the countenance, that shining radiant countenance of the Bechir Shababas, the one of the Avas HaKadoshim, who corresponds accordingly in the Brach HaShwan Esri to Akil HaKadosh, he's called the Gemara says in Megillah and Eloka B'Tachtonim. He is Kedusha, he is the Muvchor, the Bechir Shababas, and writes the Medrash in Bracious Rabbo, Yisrael Asher B'cho What's this idea of the Novi Yeshaya program test? Pastor Gimel, then Hashem says, I will glorify myself with Yisrael. It's Yisrael Saba, the Hainu Yaakov Avinu. Atahu Shokinu Chokha, Hakukulamaila, your shining countenance, your 
face is chiseled into the Kisa Kavan. That's the Gemara Chul and Tzadiyala from the base. The most the Yukno Shayakov Eno is Chakuka Tachas Kisa Kavan. So what happens over here? We have the Malachim that are all in the Yodnebo. They're going up and they're coming down and they're seeing the Demus de Yukno of Yaakov Avinu. Amar Kodesh Rochul Yaakov continues the Medrash in Bamir Barab and Parsha Dalit and Simon Aleph. Hashem says to Yaakov, Harbe Ata Yokrabena, you are so cherished and precious in my eyes. Shekaviocha Kavati Kunshucha Bikisi. I wanted you close by all the time, so I therefore chiseled in your Demusti Yukno, your radiance, your countenance. I chiseled into my Kisa Kavan. And now we turn back to this week's Parsha. Hacheni Yeshashem Akose Yaakov Vino, remember he emerged from 14 years of learning in Yeshim Shem and Ever. Now, what was he learning in the they were learning Kabbalah, writes the Ramban and the Bala term. They, he was learning Devarim in storm. He was learning Kabbalah. Seek it's a Kabbalah. He knew very well about my summer Kavan, what's going on in the worlds upstairs in the Hebrew worlds of the Olam HaSalyanim. So he says, Achein, Yisha Sheva Mokom Hazeh, Achein is Rosh Tevis, as you know from Rabbi Gumen, from Rabbi Steve, Alev Chofnun, Aryeh Kruvenesher, but Anochi Lo Yadati, I didn't know that what's the Yud, Yud stands for Yaakov, on the Demos of the Yod of Natsna, the Demos of the Yud, and that is the Sefer Chaim Shotay, Rav Shlomo Levenstein, quoting me, Pia Shmua, but comes along Rabbi Gudman, we know it's what? Uh, our favorite, Mekubo, Nitzute Shamshin, uh, take it from the Sefer Pninim, Yekorim, it's in Nitzute Shamshin, Shushan, Stapoya, I just want to humbly, perhaps, add another Nakuda, uh, that it's included in this new cognizance, this newfound awareness of Yaakov, Inu, the Bechir Shabbos, I learned in Yeshiva Shem and Eber, I knew about the uh, Adam, I knew about the Kruv, I knew about the Nesha, I knew about the Aryeh. But Anochi Lo Yadati, I didn't know that there's an ascending order of Gadolus where Adam, Tahainu Demus de Yukono, is greater than even the Malachi Elio. Who can recognize that Yaakov? He's the one above and beyond the Malachi Elio. So he can have all the Srof and the Afan and the Chaisa Kodesh. And underneath, right by a Kodeshwokhus Kisa Kovid, is Demus de Yukono of Yaakov. So Anochi Lo Yadati. Achin is what? Arye Kruv Nesher. What type of sequence? What type of order is that? That doesn't really, it's not, doesn't stim. Doesn't really work well. We start down here, the Arye, and then Chav, the Kruv, back to the Nesher. But Anochi Le'yadati. Let's go to the Gemara Chagiga Daf Yud Beis on Beis. Anochi Alev, because Yaakovin, remember, he was lying down. He's horizontal. He's lying down. He's looking water. We start with the lion. You think King of the Jungle Mighty down here? Well, they can't catch the eagle. The eagle's flying way above this world of Olam Hazet. And then you got the angels who are flying way above the eagles. And he knows flying above them all. That holy Nisham of Yaakov Inu, the Shleimus Adam, the Yaakov is Tam, Tam Tamimus, Shleimus. He is Tachas Kisei, covered way above even all the angels. Anochi, what a Geshmaka sequence. Aleph, Nun, Chaf, Yod, that I didn't know, Le'yadati, that I am ascending yet higher than even the Malachi Yon. Rabbi Seish Kaf, listening to this fantastic podcast, Torah Giants on Chumash, enjoy Steve's wit, humor, and Gevaldiga Torah Dika Entertainment. Bechol, Shavua, Shavua, have an amazing Amazing, amazing Shabbos. Here is where I would usually ask, where else are you going to find such Torah wealth? But I don't really have to ask. The answer is nowhere. It's laid out right here at our feed. But it would be unseemly for all of us not to spread this piece with family and friends. You know they will love it. That's why you should like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a share, and most important, hit the share button, which copies the link to this video. All you then have to do is paste the link to friends and family in emails, texts, WhatsApp, or social media of choice. You'll be a hero for it, and we will all help in fulfilling the potential of Rev. Goodman's life's work, Torah Giants on Chumash. We go to yeshiva to learn, that's Torah. We seek closeness to Gedolim, that's Torah. We daven for inspiration and v'sein chalkenu v'sorasecha, that's Torah. We come up with chidushim in our own learning, that's Torah. Maybe. Share your chidushim. Send your original Torah pieces to torahmaybe at gmail.com or email that address for more information. Also visit www.youtube.com slash at torahmaybe.